options traders all over the planet. Today, we've got another video for you. This time, we are talking about the order panel, specifically showing you how you can create orders for options, even with a bracket trade, take profit, stop loss perfectly checked, your desired price, limit order, stop, stop limit, market, buy, sell. It's all going to be covered in this video. Now, before we get into the order ticket any further, I just want to remind everyone that this special video is quite important because it is in accordance with our launch partner, TradeStation. Now, as you can see here, I actually have my TradeStation account connected at this point in time, and I'm going to be doing a live demonstration, placing an options trade through TradeStation. Now, this is quite important because TradeStation is helping to execute some of the data, provide some of the options, information and make sure that this trade gets executed on the TradingView platform and through the brokerage trade station. Now, as a reminder, in a previous video, we covered the options tool, including the strategy builder on our YouTube channel and in our help center. We have a full walkthrough on this advanced tool on how you can create, visualize, modify, and customize any options strategy for your exact needs, expiration date, strike price, symbol, it's all here for you. And of course, these wonderful key stats at the bottom. In the previous video, we even covered the options chain and how to read it. And we've also gone over the volatility charts as well. Now, today we're going to be talking about placing an options trade with all of this new information. So as an example, I am observing a chart here, as you can see, of Celsius. C-E-L-H. Now, you may know Celsius because they make that energy drink that some people really enjoy. And what's rather interesting here is Celsius has been in a pretty massive drawdown since this double top here. Looks like they just reported earnings, and now they are seeing a light spike. Now, if I wanted to play this earnings spike in this example, and perhaps not exactly buy a ton of shares, but just get a little bit of exposure, I could use options. So what I do is I head up to the symbol search and I click. Now, what you're going to notice, by the way, is I'm connected to my TradeStation account, but more importantly, you're going to see it says options at the far right. You want to make sure you get really familiar with this button because essentially by clicking options, you are now essentially saying, I only want to see options data, options data for the symbols I type in. So I have options selected. You can see it here. It's highlighted. Make sure you do that yourself. And I'm going to type in Celsius. And there it is, Celsius. I can even confirm NASDAQ primary exchange. This is what I want. Now, because I have options selected, if I click Celsius, the options chain opens up for me. Now, in the previous video, I walked you all through how to read an options chain. You've got your expiration date. So this is when the options contract expires. Super important. How much time do you want to give yourself for that specific equity symbol to reach your desired strike price. In this example, it is February 19th. And how about we go all the way to April 4th? So let's give us some time. We've got some a few weeks here. We've got the 21st, 28th, 7th, 14th, 21st, 28th, 4th. So basically first week of April. Now, as you'll see, I can see the current price of Celsius here, $25.87. And I can essentially see the strike price, 25, 26. So I know if I'm interested in calls, which is bullish, I think it's going up, I'm calling it, you know, it's going upward. Or puts, I think it's going down, I'm putting it to someone. Well, in the case of calls, these are all in the money because the price is 25 and the strike, 25.87, and the strike price is 25. So it's below, that is below the current price. So it's already in the money. These are all in the money. These are all out of the money. The opposite, though, of course, is true for puts. So if, you, if you're betting that it's going to go down, well, these are actually out of the money because it's below it. And these are already in the money, the 26, 27s. So remember, puts, you think it's going down. Calls, you think it's going up. And essentially, what we're going to do is place a very vanilla options trade on Celsius. And let's say we think it can go back to $30 a share by April. So it's going to make a move. That's $5 a share. Well, you can see now our mouse is hovering over this call contract at 30 price, delta, bid, ask. I'm going to go ahead and click 
And now the chart changes to this contract. Now, what's really interesting here is there's not that much trading volume here. Not that many people have been following this. In fact, you can even just see yesterday there was some volume. Today, there's a little volume. And if you hover your mouse over this, you can see volume 25, volume 23. And so we can really just see that there's really not that much there. So actually, in your research process, you can really decide, do you want to trade an option like this with not that much price discovery or information? Or are you looking for something a little more robust? So why don't we go backward? Let's go back to March 7th. Let's go ahead here and let's click 30. Now check it out. We've got some more candles here, some more pricing information, and quite the move today based on earnings. Now, Keep in mind, you might actually prefer the options contracts that are further out with lesser volume and lesser information because maybe that's where the opportunity is. No one else is looking there, but you are. In this example, maybe this is already sort of an efficient market. There's all this action. We've got all this pricing data. Today's move is pretty massive. If we hover our mouse over this volume bar, this contract alone today has 795 contracts traded. Wow, so there's some action. Well, if we think it's going to 30 and we think it might do that rather soon, we might say to ourselves that, you know, this contract will go back to its all time highs here of $1.30 a contract. So, what we are going to do, and we had some other, that's amazing, we had some other automatic uh, positions placed that just got filled. So, you'll actually just saw how, saw how an order ticket looks. But let's say, for example, in this specific video, we are interested now in placing a buy order. Well, what we can do is click trade. And when we click trade and we have this contract open and we can confirm Celsius options, March 7th, 2025, call at $30 a share. So all of our information is up here to confirm. We now have our order ticket here, which by the way, depending on your screen size, you can resize as needed. And what we really want to do here is understand now the dynamics of this specific contract. So you can see here, we got our bid and ask, and let's actually remove this for a second. So the bid is 84 cents, the ask is 89 cents. So in this example, let's not buy the highs. It looks like sort of, you can see the high candle look, and look at that, it just dropped down to 83, 84 cents. So let's express some patience here. And we even have this volume profile on the options chart, which by the way, it's pretty cool. You can see volume profiles on these options charts. So how about we wait until we get back into this zone where the point of control is, the white line. So that's about 70 cents a share. We're gonna do a limit order price. So type in 0.70, so 70 cents a share. And our take profit, I think we should make sure we have a good bracket trade. Let's try to double our money if this goes accordingly. Well, actually recall, we said this line up here to the top, $1.30. So just about, just not going to quite double our money on this trade, but not, you know, we're not that far away. 70 cents to $1.30. Obviously, $1.40 would be an exact double. Our stop loss then in this case, why don't we just make it the, the lows here? If it returns to the lows, let's get out. Just, hey, we lost. Let's take the loss while we can. So let's do 60 cents. There's our stop loss. Now, what you can see as you know, as we're constructing this trade is our take profit is up here plus 85%. Our stop loss is here minus 14%. We can very quickly see our sort of trade that we're placing, our take profit compared to our stop loss, what the risk reward is. Now, also, please do keep in mind about your units, by the way. So we're buying one unit here of this specific options contract, Celsius options, March 7th, 2025, call 30. And keep in mind, this contract only really becomes in the money and really valuable if Celsius gets above 30 before this date or on this date. That's essentially the trade. But actually, it gets a little more interesting because you have to also factor in the price you're paying for the right to be able to buy Celsius at 30 by this date. So actually my break even is theoretically actually at $30.70. Now also remember that these units, while it says one, there's a hundred contracts in a unit. So you have to be really sure of yourself that you know the math of options that when this is one, multiply it by a hundred, that's sort of the a number of shares that are, are in this unit. And you're actually going to see that when I click buy here, we're actually going to get a order ticket so we can review everything. So now that I've placed my take profit, my stop loss, and please do keep in mind, you can 
type in ticks as needed. You can use the drop downs at price as needed. You also can do market orders, limits, stop and limit orders. But before I click buy here, let me just remind you, if you talk to a lot of option professionals, a lot of people in the options market, they will tell you that limit orders is really the art science and way of options because the spreads in options are rather wide. Now this is a four cent spread, but you sometimes will see 25 cent spreads, 50 cent spreads, dollar spreads, $5 spreads, depending on the size of the options contract. But the whole point is that when there's not that much liquidity, right? Only 800, you know, only 800, the volume here is 800. If you look at the equity, it could be in the millions. You don't necessarily want to do market because you might not get a favorable fill. So long story short, Limit is generally something people will recommend. Of course, this video is only for education, educational information, and uh, other pieces of information for you to utilize about using the TradingView platform. But that's why we have a limit of 70. If we market order this, we might get filled at 88. That's literally the highest price of the ask right now. I'm not even negotiating. I'm not even fighting for a good offer. In options, it's generally recommended to use limit orders. All right, now that I got that out of the way, buy, of course, if I wanted to sell, you could, you know, sell the contracts if you have stock covered calls, but let's keep going on here. I'm going to click buy and recall, I don't exactly just buy right away. I now have this order confirmation that I can read really important because now you can go through all the details. Here's your options contract. Here's the ask 88 cents. Here's the ask size. Here's the bid 83 cents. Here's the bid size. So you have this details about the actual contract and what's trading right now. Scroll down and now you can see some details about your order. You got your limit, buy, quantity, price is 70 cents, stop loss 60 cents, take profit, $1.30. Then as we scroll down, we're gonna get even more critical details here. And those critical details are effectively our order. So you get your account ID, your routing, intelligent, time and force, estimated price, estimated cost, estimated commission, max profit, estimated max loss, break even. Now, please do keep in mind for the sake of this video that you'll see here that the estimated cost is $70. Now recall I'm bidding 70 cents. So why am I paying $70? Well, remember what I said, there's a hundred unit, there's a hundred shares or contracts in this single unit. So you have to do 70 cents times a hundred to get your cost, which is estimated cost is 70. And it's just the way options operate. It's, you know, be sure to understand you multiply by a hundred. That's what you get the right to with this options contract. So I'm going to click send order. And just like that, the order has been placed. Now, this is the second time you've seen this order ticket pop up in this walkthrough. First time order got executed, but now we get to see the options full walkthrough just like this. I'm going to click X through this one. Stop loss placed. Good. Take profit placed. Good. Limit order placed. Excellent. Everything checks out. Now, the best part about this, of course, is I can also now close my order ticket and visualize this on the chart beautifully. Here's my take profit, ladies and gentlemen, right here on this options contract. Here's my stop loss right here on this options contract. And here's my limit. Now, if something changes, maybe I do some research and I think, you know, this is, looks like I got to get in. Something's moving. I really want to get involved in this. Well, I can always adjust these as needed. All it takes is clicking and dragging accordingly. So maybe I think this is going up even higher. Let's go ahead and set it there, modify the order. It's uplifted. We can now check our new take profit target. Great. Now let's just say for the sake of this video, I think I need to get in. I think this is just too, you know, this is really just a, a move I don't want to miss. So I can lift my limit order just like this to 80. Let's go to right now. Someone's offering 85 cents. Why don't we join the party and let's go to 86 cents. Now I might get filled here. Let's find out what happens. Click modify and we wait and it was executed just like that. We are in, we are in the trade ladies and gentlemen. Well, that was not that hard. We didn't even move the, we didn't even move the, uh, uh, we didn't even move the, the bid at all, probably because it was such a small trade. Now we can see, check it out. We've got Celsius long quantity, total cost 86 bucks. Remember we moved it from 70 cents to 86 cents times hundred eighty six dollars And now of course I can see my trade station account here, only hundred, you know, $172. This is a small test account to demonstrate these things. So here's the position. 
If I wanted to edit, sell, adjust the position, I can do so just by clicking. I can see all of the order history here as well if I want to review it. And of course, this is essentially the complete walkthrough that you can get for creating an options order ticket on TradingView with our launch partner, TradeStation. And I'm up $2. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm up $2 on this trade since I placed it. And of course, this is all for education information. It's just a walkthrough and demo account, but this is how you can visualize this specific tool. Now, keep in mind, you can do this for any symbol that comes to mind with your connected account. You can just make sure you have options selected, type in the symbol you need, click the symbol, the options chain opens up. Once again, we have a complete walkthrough video about going through this options chain, and we have a live video with trade stations global head of market strategy. We walk through this process as well in detail with their global head of market strategy. Be sure to go check that out. You can click through the expiration dates as needed. Today is the 19th. Let's go to the 21st. Let's just see, are there any ultra cheap contracts? And these are a little bit outside of our price range because, you know, remember we only have $170 in this, this account and you have to multiply this by a a hundred. So some of the stuff we really just can't afford, but that's how you can essentially do your research as needed. Let's go back to Celsius and click into it again. Let's see if anything's moved here on these 30 contracts. Not a whole lot has changed. And actually it's these, let's see, which contracts do we have? Let's open up our account. Uh, only up a dollar now. And we've not a whole lot has changed. So we can monitor the position as such. So if you have any questions or comments, please let us know. And as a final reminder, you know, this is the options charting capability with a connected account. And you can do research, place trades just as you would on any other chart that you're familiar with. So go get started. Give this tool a try. And if you have any questions or comments, please let us know below. Subscribe to our channel. We have over 300 plus educational videos. We have over 260,000 subscribers, and we also have a vast and deep help center with all of the information you need. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.